In this video, I'll be going over all the basics of operating one of these cameras here at Central Baptist Church on any Sunday morning. To start, you're going to want to remove the lens cap. Just apply pressure with a thumb and a finger on the left and right side, and it'll pull right off. Once you remove the lens cap, make sure you place it under your chair. We don't want to lose this thing or break it. We will need to replace it after we're done for the day. Next, you'll want to turn on the power to the camera itself. Locate the power switch here on the left side where it says power on and off. Then switch it up to on. Now you'll have a green light indicating that the camera is getting power. From there, we'll move our attention from the power of the camera to the power of your monitor screen. So if you look on the back of the monitor, you'll notice a little button right here above this cable. It's just a button, just press it. A little green light will come on indicating that you have power. Flip over to the other side and you'll see it cycles through its logo and boom, what the lens sees. Perfect. Once you've turned on the power to your monitor, move your attention down to the top of the tripod beneath the camera to unlock the pitch and yaw. You'll notice a black lever and a black knob. Locate the black lever and rotate it counterclockwise. This will unlock the pitch of the camera, allowing you to raise and lower the shot. Be sure not to loosen it too much and don't leave it too tight. You'll want to find a right amount of pressure just inside that allows you to move the camera, but it's not so loose that the camera wants to fall and drop the shot. So find the happy medium in there. And then to the left of that black lever is a little black knob. Rotate it counterclockwise, and this will unlock the yaw of the camera, allowing you to move your shot left and right. With this, we can do panning shots. Same as the pitch, make sure it's not too tight or too loose. From there, we'll move our attention to the headset. It can be hanging on the left or right handlebar or somewhere on the tripod, front ways or back ways. Just pick it up and you'll notice that the headband is kind of springy, has an earpiece and a little foam pad that goes on the other side of the head. The microphone can swing front and back. This allows you to move the earpiece to your right ear to your left ear. Once you put it on top of your head, just use this piece to adjust the height of the ear cup, higher or lower. You want it to perfectly cup your ear. Then, if you follow the cable from your headset down to the tripod, there should be mounted a box, a communication box. The first thing you'll notice everybody does is the call button. They think this is how we talk but you get a red light. Imagine a red light, like a traffic light, stop. The button you'll wanna use is located here and a little green light will illuminate. That's how you know you have the right button. Press and hold to talk or double tap and your mic will stay hot. Then you can simply just turn it back off. Then you can adjust the volume. Make the volume in your earpiece louder, make the volume in your earpiece lower. Personal preference. It seems like it has four handlebars. Seems like a lot for a single camera but we'll break that down. On the left side, this will adjust your focus. Spin it left, spin it right. Somewhere in the middle is gonna be your perfect focus, depending on the focal length. The closer you are up, the more you'll have to focus, and the further you are out, the more you have to refocus. Try not to go too far one direction. It'll bloom the picture out really bad. You can get some cool shots this way, but typically we're looking for a really sharp image and you just need to fine tune. You usually don't even have to lift your hand off of the, uh, the control arm, just your fingers. You just typically need to just roll it just a little bit. On the other side, we have the zoom switch. It's a rocker switch and you'll notice that when you press down on one side, it springs back up. The same with the other side. Press to the right to zoom in or toward. Press left to zoom out or away. This can be tricky as far as doing smooth zooms or choppy too fast zooms.
The speed of the zoom can be controlled right here, just below your index finger. Uh, roll it back to slow down how fast the zoom is and roll it up to speed up the zoom. Real slow or speed it up and zoom in and do pop zoom so you can change your shot faster. If you have a nice touch, you probably don't need to adjust that knob. You can use the pressure of the switch as an accelerator. Barely press to make it go slow and press all the way to make it go faster, just like the accelerator in your car. Imagine the knob adjusts the top speed of your accelerator. We're typically looking for slow, smooth shots. Well, that's it for this video. You're now ready to take control of one of these cameras and help us capture some nice, beautiful, smooth shots. Once service has ended, all you have to do is reverse the process. Hang your headset back up. Lock the camera off. Grab that lens cap we set down under the chair, put it back on, that will protect the lens. And make sure you kill the power to the camera, as well as your monitor. And that's it.